Hello Aquarius viewers, going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you, just whatever the cards want to say. Um, a couple weeks ago I was getting that someone's keeping you on hold because they, you, they have a secret. So they're trying to be perfect for you before they commit. You know, someone's sort of like they're they're serious about you. They have you up on a pedestal. They they know that they want you. They know they want a future with you, but there's just some they weren't really ready for you. There's some things in their life that they need to get in order before they can really fully commit. Some of them might be wrapping up karmic relationships. Some of them are just getting their finances in order. Um, some of them are just trying to, you know, just they, they, they see this being a long term relationship with you. So they really want to make sure that they're prepared and ready for this and that they give you the best version of themselves. Love offer, commitment, sadness, make your move, green light, waiting, hoping, praying. I'm getting that pain was some kind of motivating factor here for someone to, it's motivating someone to come forward. I feel like someone's been waiting and hoping and praying for this and then there's going to be, there's either been a moment or there might be a moment, just a very vulnerable moment between you two that lets this person know, that gives the person the, the green light to stop waiting and stop praying for this, but actually to move forward. Maybe you guys were on the same page, but you just didn't even realize you were. This could be, I mean, take it as it resonates because the sadness card could mean different things for different people, but I'm just getting here with how they're lined up that this energy is what is motivating someone to come forward and, and commit and make a love offer. Maybe someone thought you were over them and now they're realizing that you're actually not over them and that you do still have feelings and that you have been sad over this and they didn't even, they didn't even realize it. Maybe some of you are going to have a conversation where you open up and you share some stuff about your your childhood or your past or just some of the things that you've been through like having a really deep heart-to-heart -heart conversation and really being vulnerable with them and your willingness to be vulnerable and open like that with them is going to turn them on so much that it's it's going to make them want to take the relationship to the next level because they're going to feel like they have a a deeper connection with you like they're going to see that things are really progressing maybe how do I explain that energy like they're just they're going to be turned on by the fact that you're willing to be so vulnerable and open with them they're going to realize that you you're taking this relationship seriously because you're you're willing to share things about your past with them you're willing to to you know take the walls down and just be completely vulnerable and have these deep heart to heart talks with them and that's going to make them realize that you are serious about the relationship maybe some of them are are not completely sure how you feel like they know that you like them probably but maybe 100 some of them aren't 100 percent sure you know what where you want this to go and maybe you're just going to have a really vulnerable moment with each other that's going to open the door and show them that you are serious about this because why would you be sharing personal details of your life with someone that you weren't serious about you know um, or it could be that they're maybe they're gonna have a breakdown or maybe they're going through some stress in in their life and you're just there for them like you're supporting them through their sadness and their pain and you're you're helping them get through that energy and you're like a guiding light in their life and so when they come out of this energy they're they're gonna appreciate you for being there with them through that you know you stood by their side and that's going to make them want to commit so there's a few different I mean it's the same energy group but there's a few different ways that this could go with the sadness card or basically whatever this energy is it's it's motivating someone to move forward for some of you it's just I mean it's showing them that there's something real here first for some of them maybe they weren't 100% sure about what you felt and maybe you're just opening up about how you feel you're being really vulnerable and that's showing them that it's safe to go ahead and take this relationship to the next level.
but last the reading I did a couple weeks ago, I was getting very strong that someone's keeping you on hold because they they have some sort of secret. Like they're just trying to get everything in order before they commit to this. They're trying to if this is your story, I would I would go back and check that reading out that I did a couple weeks ago. So I, I was just really feeling like someone's like they're ending a karmic situation or a custody battle possibly for some of them or, you know, trying to get their, you know, dieting, maybe getting their their health and their bodies back on track. Maybe something from their past that they, they haven't revealed yet, just something that they've they just sort of weren't expecting you. So there's they're keeping you on hold just because they're trying to to rush to get ready for this connection like maybe some of them are just kind of behind on you know personal things in their life and they're maybe they, there might be some things that they just don't want to tell you because they don't want you to look down on them like maybe some like addictions or some issues that they're going through or like court issues that kind of thing that they're struggling with and they're kind of rushing now to try to get everything sorted out so that they can commit to you Maybe you're getting impatient and upset, and that's letting them know, like, okay, like, this person's probably going to stay. I can go ahead and commit. But, but yeah, it's, it's just a continuation of the story I did a couple weeks ago, but I'm getting that there's a vulnerable heart-to-heart -heart talk that's either just come up or that's going to come up where... It's either they're going to break down crying or they're going to just maybe not even cry, but just open up to you about some of the things that they've been through in their past. Maybe they're going to start opening up to you about, you know, why they've kept you on hold because this person has a lot of respect for you. They really idolize you. They, they really, you know, you mean a lot to them. So they might start explaining things like they might say, hey, like, I'm sorry. I know this is moving slower than you might want it to move, but you know, I've been I've been going through some personal stuff. Like, just bear with me. I want to keep seeing you. I just want to take things slow. Um, you know, that kind of energy, where it's like they're they're wanting to be open and vulnerable with you and and honest. And they might not want to let you know everything that's going on because again, some of them don't want you to look at them any differently than you do now. So they maybe they just have some stuff that's just kind of personal to them that they're trying to figure out, but. But yeah, I feel like some kind of uh, deep heart-to-heart -heart talk is coming. It's either just come or it's. I feel like it's in the near future where you guys might even like be drinking or something and one of you might, you know, you might end up having one of those drunken nights where you just end up sitting on a rooftop looking at the stars together and, and you know, pouring your hearts out to each other, like one of those nights. So I just feel like... Either they're going to be sad and open with you and not even like sad in a bad way. More, more, I just see this more as like vulnerability. Like they're maybe like letting you know about their past or letting you know about their struggles and things that they're dealing with. Just showing you another part of, of their personality. Like they're starting to trust you more and more. They're starting to feel like it's safe for them to be vulnerable with you. So they might be showing this part of themselves to you and, you know, the fact that you want to stay by their side and that you're comforting them is going to make them want to commit. Or it's the other way around where you're going to be the vulnerable one and they're they're going to feel, you know, like, wow, this person trusts me. Like they feel secure with me. Like they're, they must be really serious about me with, if they're sharing all these personal details of their life. Um, like they're, they're going to feel, you know, it's, it's just an honest, open heart to heart talk. And I feel like it's going to motivate someone to commit here. Could even be you committing. Honestly, it could be, they might break down and say like, you know what? I love you. Like, I think you're amazing. And you might say, okay, well, let's make this official then. Like, you know, that kind of energy too. It's possible. I just, I see, I see a lot of passion and romance here. Definitely. So it's, it's good energy. Um, but, you know, take that as it resonates because there's going to be a few different scenarios how that could play out. And you guys, maybe you, you'll both be vulnerable with each other, you know, and you'll just kind of realize, okay, it's time to take this to the next level. You know, it's time to start a relationship or it's time to, you know, for some of you, like, move in together or, or take that next step. So what else do you want to say about this connection? And if this is your story, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, if this is your story, you know, a private reading is a good way to go because I can look more in depth into this energy, you know, see who this person is, what the what the scenario involving sadness might be, like it just anything you want to know about the relationship. 
um, and where it's heading. So just send me an email. My email is in the description box below. Yeah, you guys have been taking it slow. I feel like someone's becoming aware that this is a past life connection though. And so they're feeling, yeah, like the synchronicity is there, the dreams, the visions, the, the telepathic connection. So I think this is like a past life soulmate or even a past life twin, um, like, a, like a twin flame possibly too. So I feel like, like you've been taking it slow or you've been trying to be patient with them and kind of wait for them to get everything in order and commit to you. But I feel like the synchronicity and like the dreams and the visions and this, this, you know, 5D higher vibrational connection, like the telepathic communication between you two is getting stronger and stronger. And it's showing them that this is a past life connection and that it's, they're, they're becoming more aware of that energy. They're becoming more aware that, you know, there is something special here. Like you guys have known each other before. This is a very deep past life connection. So I think that's going to make them want to speed up a little bit because it's like, they're going to feel like they've known you forever, you know? It's just going to take some confidence because they might not be used to this kind of energy. Is there anything else we need to know about this connection right now? And the main thing I'm getting is just a deep heart-to-heart -heart talk that's either just come up or is going to come up. And I think it's going to take your relationship to the next level um, just because of that that vulnerability. You know, like they're, they're, someone's going to feel more secure in this relationship when this when this comes up. And this person, again, this could, this could it could be either way. It could be you being vulnerable with them and then being turned on by that vulnerability. Or it could be them being vulnerable with you and... And they're, they admire that you stood by their side and, you know, that you're being patient with them and it makes them want to just go ahead and commit like, okay, this person really can deal with this energy. They might have some heavy burdens that they're taking on right now that they feel like you can't deal with or they feel like it would be too much for you or they just, they just, they really respect you. So they don't want to put that energy on you, but I feel them wanting to be a they're less secretive than they were a couple weeks ago. So that's good. You guys are moving in the right direction, it feels like. I feel, because the, the, a couple weeks ago, I was getting that they're very secretive about whatever it is that they're hiding. Like it could be, again, could be a karmic that they're getting out of. Could be um, just some sort of issue that they're having. And they don't want you to judge them or look down on them. Or, you know, they don't want to lose you. So they're trying to just deal with it on their own. And they're hoping they can just kind of low-key deal with it and then commit. You know, they're trying to get ready for you so they can give you everything. But they're just not quite there yet. But, and you wouldn't know if this is your reading. Like, it should resonate. Like, this isn't someone who would ghost you. Like, I don't get the energy of someone who would, like, ghost you or play games. Like, none of that. This person would probably be talking to you, but maybe just not fully able to commit yet. But, like, you can tell by the way they talk to you, that they have respect for you, that they're making an effort to put, to keep you in their life, you know, like communicating with you, like maybe spending time with you, but just kind of taking things slower than you might like, you know, like you guys are going on dates and hanging out, but they haven't officially made you their boyfriend or girlfriend yet. You know, it's that kind of energy. This isn't the energy of someone who's like ghosting you or playing games. Like, no, because this person respects you. So whoever this is, this is like someone that really respects you and like admires you and they want to do right by you, so they wouldn't they wouldn't ghost you or play games. So that's not the energy I'm getting. Um, if you're thinking of someone who's ghosting you, it's not that it's not this person. You know, this person would not ghost you. But but I mean, they might be like a little tiny bit distant. Like they're not, you know what I mean? Like they're not rushing things. They're not they're not going quite the speed that you might want them to go. But it's just again, they're they're low key dealing with some stuff on the side and trying to get through it. But I feel like your relationship is progressing here, whatever this is, um, whether you're single or not, whatever this connection is, it, it seems like it is actually progressing because the energy I was getting a couple of weeks ago was that they were very secretive, very um, like they had something that they were dealing with, but they wanted to keep it to themselves. And now I'm getting the sense that they're actually feeling more vulnerable and open with you and that they trust you a little bit more than they did a couple weeks ago. Not that they didn't trust you, but the trust is building is what I'm getting is that you guys are on the right path. Like they're, they're trusting you more and more every day. And so I feel like this person feels a little bit more secure with the connection. Now they feel like, okay, maybe if I did tell them about this secret, maybe they won't leave, but they don't want to pour it out on you. They, they, so they might sugarcoat it a little bit. Like, 
you know, oh, I'm kind of dealing with some drama with my ex, but they don't go into detail with how bad the drama is, you know, or, oh, I'm kind of having some, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to court for a couple things, but, you know, it should be sorted out soon, but they don't tell you the full extent of, you know, actually they've been, go they've been dealing with this for two years, you know, like that kind of thing where it's like they tell you a little bit about what's going on, but like not everything. But I mean, it is a good start because a couple weeks ago I was getting that they did not want to tell you anything about it. They just wanted to keep it secret because they were afraid of being judged and rejected and they were afraid that it was, would be too much for you and they just wanted to sort it out by themselves and figure it out, out figure it all out, out on their own and then come forward when they you know had figured it out but now they're actually wanting to maybe something's happening too with it where whatever this is is going to take longer than they expected it to like maybe they received an answer to something and and they're realizing that this issue is going to take longer than they originally thought it was going to take so they're realizing that they're going to have to be open and honest with you about it but but again they're not going to be fully open and honest I feel I feel like it's more going to be like they they tell you a little bit about what's going on like they hint at it but kind of downplay it a little bit just because they don't want to overwhelm you with it and they also want to test the water to see how you'll deal with it because they don't want to creep they don't want to like freak you out or or um, intimidate you or overwhelm you or anything, you know what I mean? But but it's a good start. You know, they're they're feeling more secure with you. They're feeling vulnerable and open. They're they're wanting to have a heart to heart talk with you. They're wanting to know you on a deeper level. So it is a really good start here. Manipulation, deception, anger, miscommunication, passion, romance. There could be some stuff with like a karmic ex that they want to open up to you about that there was maybe some abuse or some deception or just some things that they dealt with. Um, maybe some like communication problems that they had in the past and that might be part of what this could be just a message for like a couple of you, not all of you, but maybe a couple of you. The secret that they're hiding might be some stuff that they're dealing with with a karmic that, you know, they were manipulated and deceived. And there was some, they might, maybe some anger issues, some miscommunication. Um, they kind of got sucked into the passion and the romance of the relationship. And it, you know, it didn't turn out well for them. And so maybe they're just needing to take things slow because they're still sorting through all that. And maybe they're kind of damaged and maybe um, not wanting to have a rebound relationship for some. This is probably just for a couple people. But for those that just got out of a karmic situation, maybe they're, they want to make sure this isn't like a rebound relationship, you know, so they want to take it kind of slowly because they're working through their emotions with the karmic. Um, it was a very passionate romantic relationship. They were very submissive to the karmic and they got, you know, manipulated, deceived, used, drained, that kind of energy. So they're wanting to take things slow with you because they're not fully over the karmic and they're kind of wanting to ease into things and maybe be more cautious this time around. That's just for a couple of you, I feel. Any other messages here? But again, you know, if this is your story, um, you know, if you want to get a reading, my email address is in the description box below. I'm available to do private readings. They last um, anywhere from they, 30 minutes is the minimum, but they, they typically last closer to 45 minutes or even an hour sometimes. Like I really go into deep detail about, you know, your person, your, your connection, whatever you want to know. You can ask multiple questions. So... So yeah, send me an email. Any final messages here? Truth and clarity. New perspective. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of truth that comes out. And it could be a truth. For those that are in a karmic situation, it could be a truth with the karmic that's giving them a new perspective where they're like, okay, this isn't for me anymore. For others, for most of you, though, I feel like it's a true, it's a new perspective that's going to come out in this, this deep conversation that you guys are going to end up having um, for the majority of you. That's, and this truth is actually going to set them free. Like, they're going to be surprised at how much you just listen and understand and support them, like how empathetic you are, you know? They're kind of, maybe they're kind of still damaged by the karmic and they're thinking that you're going to judge them or lash out at them or ghost them or whatever. And so it's going to surprise them that you're actually supportive and you just listen and understand them and you're patient with them, you know? And that's turning them on. That really is turning them on and making them want to commit even more. Um, it's like be patient with them, but they should be talking to you and communicating with you and you guys should be hanging out even if you're taking things slow. You know what I mean? But, you know, new perspective, true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open mindedness, 
your faith and your bravery. I know it's like some truth is going to come out and that's going to shift their perspective. It's going to make them feel like, wow, I can be vulnerable. I can be open here. Yeah, because there's some karmic, there's some betrayal, jealousy, conflict. There might have, yeah, there might have been some karmic drama that they're getting through for some of them. But, you know, they want to take this risk with you. They want to choose, they want to make a bold gesture. They want to choose love over fear. They're just kind of, um, they're just kind of damaged by something. So they just need to go at kind of a slow pace. Some of them might have some mental instability and that might be the secret that they haven't told you that they might be getting professional help for something. But they're wanting, they're feeling secure. They're feeling like whatever this is, they're feeling like they can be vulnerable and open and tell you this, you know? Like, they're tired of carrying this burden alone. They're tired of it trapping them and blocking them and tying them up and keeping their energy away from you. Like, they want clarity and openness and they want to have, like, they want to have fun. They want to live their life, you know? They want to get through this. Whatever this is, it's like they're, they're feeling... Every day they're feeling closer to you and they're feeling more and more of a desire to, to be honest with you about whatever this is. So let's get a few final cards. Just a few final cards here. Pause, reflection, rest. Yeah, so this is something that they like thought about. Like they paused and reflected and they're like, okay, you know what? I think like I want to be loyal. I want to be stable. I want to make this promise. I just, this, this conversation needs to come up first, you know? They're kind of letting go of that pride and stubbornness. There's some fear and anxiety, but... The divine is getting them through it and helping them. Help it, yeah, fast moving energy coming in quick. The divine is getting them through it and, and you know showing them like this is a soulmate. This is a or this is a twin flame. Like it's safe to be open and vulnerable. So it's there. Your person is kind of in this process of letting you in. This person is is you know they've been scared. They they're not sure how you're gonna take this this whatever the secret is that they have, but they're they're at that point where they're they're wanting to be open and vulnerable and they're taking a risk you know they are really afraid of getting hurt but they're making a conscious decision to to take a chance on love and open their heart to you so when this if this secret comes out please just be really patient with them because it, it's going to be take it seriously because it's going to be hard for them to tell you you know I don't know it might come out in, in awkward ways for some of them some of them might just might just be hanging out and someone might just kind of you know, you're, you're talking about, uh, I don't know what it would be. Just, just having a normal conversation that's kind of on topic to what they're going through. And they're like, oh, by the way, like, this is, you know, I have, I have that same disorder, actually. What do you think about that? You know, it might be something kind of just like, like quick that you don't expect. You know what I mean? Um, or it could be, you know, for a lot of you, like a more deep conversation. Because they're thinking that they want to tell you this secret, but they, they want to, sugarcoat it and not tell you everything they just want to tell you a little bit but they want to at least start being open and honest with you about whatever this is so when this comes in be really supportive with them because this is really hard for them like they've been thinking about this for a while and they've been holding back for a while and now they're really starting to to open their hearts to you and really starting to trust you and be vulnerable with you which is a hard decision for them to make but they are making that decision so when they tell you the secret really be just really be patient with them, really be supportive with them, be understanding, take it seriously, you know, don't, don't judge them for it and don't downplay it either. Don't be like, oh, whatever, it's no big deal. Like, oh, like they open up to you about all the things they've been through and like some, some disorder they have and you're like, ah, it's cool. Everyone has that, you know, like don't, don't do that either. Cause it's like, you know, be more empathetic and more attentive. Like, wow, that's, thank you for sharing that with me. That's really, it really makes me feel honored that you felt safe sharing that with me, you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't make me look at you any differently. Like I totally understand, like, we'll, you know, we'll figure it out. Like just be very, very attentive, very open-minded, very um, patient with them, very empathetic, very gentle with them. So, so yeah, you know, this is really good energy. This is, this is um, possibly a life partner. I do get a very good loving energy between you two. So, so good energy here. Um, anyway, like I said, if you want a reading, my email is below and if this resonates, uh, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My PayPal and Cash App link is also below. And um, yeah, please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you.